a new chapter in Maya history would begin. May 1945, Berlin has been invaded by the Russians. The National Library is on fire. Hitler would soon be dead and Germany defeated. From the thousands of books burning in the ruins, a Soviet officer casually plucks a random souvenir from the flames. His name is Yuri Konorosov. The book, Reproductions of Surviving Maya Codices. Konorosov immerses himself in Maya studies and the alphabet Bishop Landa had attempted to transcribe. His great breakthrough was realizing Maya hieroglyphs were much more than a simple system of numerical signs. His work was amplified by another Russian, Tatyana Proskuryakov, a superb illustrator and archaeologist. Her keen eye detected patterns in the dates carved in stone. Where others had seen only numbers and signs, Tatiana read the entire span of human lives. Based on her findings, the code breakers went to work. They began to read the carvings on temple walls like tombstones in a cemetery. Much more than mere calendars, the images commemorated the entire reigns of kings and queens. The deciphered glyphs revealed the names of Maya royalty, 18 rabbit, smoke jaguar, stormy sky, and lady shellstar. The lives of these rulers, their ancestors and their conquests, all the stories locked within the glyphs could finally be told. Fifteen years after discovering the skeleton with the jade mask, Alberto Rus would now learn his identity. He was Lord Pakal, king of the city-state Palenque. The tenth in a line of rulers that stretched back three centuries. He ruled for almost 70 years, 